Hey family and welcome to I Love Me Me Me. So today I have been tagged to do a black girl magic of YouTube tag. So here we go. Stay tuned. Alright, so the first question is how did I choose my YouTube name? And honestly, I have to say when I opened up my YouTube account in 2010, I uh, just was watching YouTube. And I didn't really have a focus to start a YouTube channel. So when I chose my name, I was actually... I was done with my divorce, but I was in the dating scene and I was trying to figure out what, who, who I was, what I wanted, what I needed, what I desired. And so I decided to say, you know what? I love me, myself, and I. I love me, me, me. And that just stuck. And so that's how I chose my YouTube name of I Love Me, Me, Me. It just stuck. I was in the process of just trying to figure it out. And um, yeah, that's where I, that's what, that's how I got my YouTube name. I Love Me, Me, Me. So the second question is, why did I start my YouTube channel? I actually started my YouTube channel to spread the message of healthy relationships. Um, recently, I have dedicated my channel to specifically dramatically decreasing the divorce rate because I think that that is very important. And also, I wanted to make sure that I'm putting content out there that is helping people not to just date, not to just, uh, you know, snag the guy or snag the girl. I really want to incorporate an actual what a relationship should look like and not just the fluff of getting a person. And I hate to call it the fluff because, of course, you want to date and and. and to have fun and we'll learn how to keep the guy or learn how to keep the girl and understand why he's pulling away and all of that stuff. So of course those things are on my channel, but I really want to go deeper on my channel and give some real substance of how to actually have a healthy romantic relationship with your partner. So it's just different things about relationships overall as a whole, not just the dating scene, um, not just when you engage. Uh, you know, just some of the, the real things that happen in relationships or the real things that we need to get over, such as our baggage. I understand that um, most of the time, uh, most of the time, the bad things that happen wasn't our fault. However, sometimes we need to take responsibility of our choices because if we would have chose differently, then we would get a different result. All right. The third question is, what is my channel based on? Of course, everybody knows by now my channel is completely focused on nothing but relationships absolutely nothing but relationships so we're going to talk about the dating stage we're going to talk about the super single people and i hate to say that but i really i really like that term the super single people meaning you are pretty much content where you're at um or you really want something but you haven't found the right person um you're still working on yourself there is nobody in sight you might want children again nobody in sight you might want to get married again nobody in sight so those are my super single people and um there's nothing to be ashamed of i just like the fact that the super single it kind of stands out that's why i chose that and then of course we're talking about the engagement the marriage and just how to work your relationship so you can stay in it because to death do you part those are words that a lot of us um, hold on to and we really want it to work that way and a lot of times it just doesn't work okay I have to say that a lot of times it's really not our fault because we haven't been taught how to actually date how to actually choose our mate and how to actually really be in a healthy relationship so that is what I want to do here I want to give you the tools and the tips so you can use them in your real life situations and not just listen to the uh, listen to the content that day and then do nothing with it, which is why I always say applied knowledge is better than just having the knowledge. You have to apply it to your life. Otherwise, it's meaningless. So the fourth question I actually already answered, which is what do I want to accomplish on my channel as a whole? And I've already said that in the last question. So we're going to move forward. The fifth question is what are some of the goals that I have in real life as well as on YouTube? Um, my goal on YouTube really is just to do what I'm doing, putting out content that I know that people want and need to hear and also so the person behind the scenes or you my audience so you can take it in and you can understand that you are not alone you can understand what to do what steps to take next so you can have a better life and of course a better relationship so those are some of my youtube goals some of my real life goals is to actually do youtube full time i want to do youtube full time i want to quit my nine to five job and um, I actually want to move uh, closer to my family, which is in the Atlanta area. So those are three of my personal life goals that I want. Question six is, what is it like being a black female YouTuber? 
Uh, you know what? I, I actually, I've, I've, I've never thought about this question, honestly. It's just, uh, I happen to be black. I happen to be a woman. And I happen to be on YouTube. I will say that I didn't really... No, I don't really know a lot of black female YouTubers. I happened to recently find out um, uh, this young lady that we live in the same city. She is actually a black female YouTuber herself. So my point is I don't run across a lot of YouTubers in general and especially black women. Of course, on the Internet and on YouTube, I see them all the time. But specifically, um, just knowing somebody in the same city or even hanging out with other YouTubers is very hard to find. <laughs> so um, being in a group such as this is wonderful and I get to share ideas and um, um, just learn how to be better with YouTube and um, uh, creating the content and everything like that. It's, it's really good to have a group like this. Number seven is who are some of my favorite female black YouTubers? And I have to say two of them. And the only reason why I'm only choosing two is because when I first started watching YouTube, I used to watch these two people all the time. And actually, both of them are now full-time um, YouTubers, although one of them has gone on. She has um, actually gotten her own um, talk show. Um, uh, it's a skit show because she used to do a lot of skits. Anyway, she both of them have two channels, which is funny. Um, she, her, her one channel is Cheska Lee or Cheska Locks. And I found her when I used to wear my, um, my locks. Uh, I had my locks for five years. That's beside the point. But anyway, I found her channel because she had she has really long dreadlocks, and um, she would always style them just fabulously, right? So I had to start following her so I could learn how to care for my locks because nobody that I knew personally had locks. So here I was going to YouTube, and then anytime that I found a uh, stylist, because I have thin hair, a lot of people just didn't know how to take care of my hair, so I found that I was doing my hair better than they were, so I'm like, why am I paying you? Why, why am I paying you? Anyway, moving on, and then the second um, black female YouTuber that I used to follow all the time, she recently changed her um, YouTube uh, name on one of her channels, and she just wanted to do bigger and better things, so when I found her name, when I found her, her name was Bronze Goddess 01. Love her. She also talks about uh, relationship advice. She does a lot of the strawberry, um, strawberry, um, strawberry letter type letters <laughs> to you guys. They write in, and, and her channel was just awesome. So I found her um, doing relationship advice, and um, so she has one channel where she would do a lot of like lookbooks and you know. Um, just things that I, I wasn't necessarily interested in, but she would have it all on her channel. I specifically went to her channel for the relationship advice. And so anyway, now she split them up. So the lookbooks and the hauls and all that stuff, she still has under Bronze Goddess 01. And then the channel where it's specifically to relationships, she now goes under Life Coach Sean. That's S-H-A-W-N, Life Coach Sean. So I really love those two black female YouTubers. I know that there are many more people out there, but again, I'm only choosing those two because those are the two that I used to follow when I first started watching YouTube in 2010. All right, so number eight is who are some of my black girl role models? And honestly, I only have one role model that happens to be my mother. Uh, she is just an awesome inspiration, and um, she had seven children. She raised us all to be really great human beings, and uh, she, she went through a lot. And she was able to pass down the really good stuff in me. So yeah, I just love my mother. And she just really made sure that all of her children got the best, even when she had to go without. And of course, as a child, you don't necessarily know that your parents are going without or the sacrifices that they are making for you. But um, as an adult now, looking back, I can kind of see some of the things that she did to make sure that we had a better life than she even had. So it's my mother. Number nine is what is the definition of black girl magic? And I would just have to say, um, honestly, black women, we just hold it together and we just are able to push through pretty much anything. I mean, I always look at Venus and Serena Williams and how they're taking over tennis and just um, Taraji P. Henson and how her story, how she... People just didn't believe in her. And she was like, you know what? I'm going out to Hollywood. I'm going to make this happen. I don't care if I have a child and I only have a few hundred dollars in the bank. And she went out there and she made it happen. And she is just doing it. So the definition of black magic to me is just being able to go out there. Don't let nobody tell you that you cannot do it. And if they do tell you that you cannot do it, you don't have to argue with them. You just show them better than you could tell them anything. So just going out there and making sure that you stick 
to what your goal is and actually doing it. Finding any means necessary to get what you want, you find a way to do it. So that is my definition of black girl magic. We just getting out here and we doing it without letting anybody hold us back. The very last question is, where can you find black girl magic of YouTube? And obviously you can find it on YouTube, but there is also a Facebook group called black girl magic of YouTube. It's on Facebook. So go ahead and check it out. If you are a black female YouTuber, go ahead and join in on our fun. All right. I love you guys for listening. And of course, if you like this video, make sure that you give me thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button with the icon with my lovely face. 